This video will cover the topic roots of a product of polynomials. To find the roots of a product of polynomials, we find the zeros of each polynomial. Let's break it down. First, consider this. If we had several numbers multiplied together, such as a, b, and c, and they equal zero, then at least one of those numbers must equal zero, otherwise they can't multiply to equal zero. The same thing happens when we have several polynomials multiplied together, like this. 4w plus 24 times w squared minus w minus 12. When we plug in a value for w, each of these polynomials will just become a number, and we'll have two numbers multiplied. In order for these two numbers to multiply to equal zero, what must be true? Well, one of those numbers must equal zero. Exactly. So, if we can find values of w that will make at least one of these two polynomials equal zero, then we know that when we multiply these polynomials together, the whole expression will equal zero. How do we find out which values of w make these equal zero? To find these values, let's set both of these polynomials equal to zero. Now we can solve both of these equations for w. In the first example, we can use algebra to isolate the w by subtracting 24 from both sides, and then we can divide both sides by 4, and we find that when w equals negative 6, this polynomial will equal 0. The second polynomial is a quadratic equation, so we can factor it into w minus 4 times w plus 3. This will equal 0 when w equals 4 or negative 3. If those steps were not familiar to you, review factoring a quadratic equation. So the values of w that would make either of these two polynomials equal 0 are negative 6, 4, and negative 3. If we plugged any of these values into this equation, then at least one of these two polynomials would equal 0 and the entire product would equal 0. We can write our final answer as w equals negative 6, comma, 4, comma, negative 3. So to find values of the variable that make a product of polynomials equal 0, we set each of those polynomials equal to 0 and find which values of the variable would make that true. Then these values are our answer. Way to go.